What is up you guys, Austin Marks here. So I remember clinical like it was yesterday, about a year ago actually. <laughs> so uh, for me, clinicals were definitely challenging in the beginning because I was new to the healthcare field. I've never been in the healthcare field before. No one in my direct family has ever been in the healthcare field until I met my wife and then her mom is a nurse, her sister is a physical therapist, and then she was going to school to become a physical therapist assistant. So I never had any real direct uh, experience with anyone in the healthcare field throughout my entire life until I met her. So it was definitely all new to me. I never worked in the healthcare field. I used to work in a factory, so clinicals were brand new. It was definitely very scary the first time I ever had any real patient experience. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys the one piece of advice that I would tell any respiratory student in clinical or any student going through a healthcare field career path. So the one piece of advice is to volunteer. Volunteer for everything. You're going to be doing a lot of this in your full-time career when you actually graduate. So why not do it when you're in clinical, when you have someone watching over you. So if you mess up, they can tell you about it. They can tell you what you did wrong and how you can improve on it. So that's one thing I did was I volunteered for everything. I know not everyone is like, oh, let me do it. But that's how you got to be. So once I started doing this, uh, my classmates saw that I was stepping up to the plate. I was getting a little bit more experience than them and then they started doing it. Once you ingrain this habit of volunteering for everything, it almost becomes the new norm. You want to go and try new things. You want to go ahead and advance in your career. You want to try new therapies, new techniques. Um, I remember the first time that we had a trauma and it, I graduated, I was working full time and I was at the head of the bed and I was pooping myself. It was scary, but guess what? Now I go ahead and when there's a trauma, I run to it. I'm super excited and I'm pumped because I know what I'm doing. But the first time, it was definitely scary. But the biggest piece of advice is just to volunteer. Just do it. The second piece of advice that I have for you guys is to bring your notes to clinical. So I know there was a lot of downtime during clinical, but what I did was I brought the Oaks books for respiratory. So I believe they're little pocket guides that you can just carry around with you anywhere, put them in your scrubs. I actually keep them in my locker at work just in case I have any questions about anything. So take them with you. Just open them up, study a little bit, read a little bit. Uh, that's the biggest piece of advice for you guys is to just study during your downtime at clinicals. Because if you get a 30 minute study session in while at clinicals, guess what? That's potentially 30 minutes less they used to study while you're at home. You'll be doing something you enjoy, you could be spending time with your family, you watching Netflix, whatever you do. And my third piece of advice is to just enjoy the experience. Enjoy uh, the time with your classmates, learn together. Yes, some things are like a competition, you want to do better than them, you want to go ahead and get more ABGs than them, you want to show them that you're better than them, but learn with them. Uh, you guys are all in this together, you guys all want to graduate together. When you go to clinicals, you want to be excited. You want to be willing to learn more stuff. Uh, same with your classmates. You want to be able to help them out if they have any questions because one day you may have a question and they're going to help you out. Everyone needs help. Not everyone is a know-it-all. And my fourth piece of advice is to just put out during clinical. And what I mean by this is say hello to the staff. Be nice to your clinical instructor. Uh, go say hi to uh, the manager. Just put out and show that you're a hard worker because clinicals are almost like an interview for you. I know where I work full time now, my clinical instructor was a huge help for me into getting that job uh, because they saw how much of a hard worker I was, how much I helped my classmates, they saw I was a team player, they saw that I had time management skills, they saw that I was just a well-rounded person. So that's exactly what you have to do while you're at clinicals is you have to put out. You have to show them that you're a good person, that you're not going to just sit there and be quiet the whole time, do your own thing. You're not going to help anyone else out. They want to see that you have a good work ethic and that you're going to go ahead and be a team player. So those are my four tips for any student that is in clinicals right now. I wish you guys the best and volunteer for everything. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.